<laughs> oh my, oh my. How is everybody? It's been a minute. Okay. <laughs> Yo, my cat is crazy. Oh my goodness. We got clapping. <laughs> I can't with my people. I love you guys. I really do. I, re I really love my people for coming up with something on that level of crazy. They gave me applause. Okay, y'all. All right. I see y'all. I just wanted to jump on here real quick. I'm Sophia Legro. Um, I have not been on for a while. So sorry about that. But I figure, you know what? Let me just jump on here. You guys have been flooding my DMs and my Facebook page. And um, I haven't been giving the YouTube page as much love as it truly deserves. Because this thing called life has just been crazy it's just been really 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 crazy we got some good stuff going on behind the scenes i promise you that um so i wanted to jump on um as you can see my face isn't even made up and i don't care you know this whole quarantine lockdown thing this whole working from home thing you don't need you just like kind of stop caring at this point it's just what it be i mean i'm on here with a hoodie uh and before i wouldn't approach y'all like that i would always have the signature red lip well today we got chapstick <laughs> I hope it works. Anyway, um, I'm talking to you guys really quick because I want to talk to you guys about this thing called Valentine's Day. Um, you guys have been flooding my inbox with it and um, I, I'm, I'm not really, I, I don't like the way that singles are being left to feel about this holiday. It's not, it's, it's nothing. Yes, I said it. It's nothing. It's nothing. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you some facts. I'm doing a macabre Valentine's Day series on my IG um, platform. It's SL Confidential. That's pretty much it. You can follow me there. And um, I'm pointing out the macabre things about this holiday that's pretty much gone wrong. Um, you know, we're going to do like a couple of phases every day or every other day or when I get to it. But the whole point is this, I want to educate you guys. You know, people are like, oh my God, why are you being so macabre? It's not about being macabre, it's about stating facts. So the next time you're wondering, oh, how come, you know, the person I'm with didn't do anything and how come I didn't get chocolates and how come I didn't get this and how come I didn't get a greeting card? After I tell you when these where these things actually stem from, you might want to think twice. I'm not saying let let he or she off the hook. I'm not saying that at all, okay? But I'm just saying, let's just put some perspective into it. At the end of the day, you should be demonstrating love to those who you love every day. There shouldn't be a designated day for that, all right? You should be loving people every day. We're not promised tomorrow. I think if 2020 didn't tell any, didn't teach anyone that, maybe you missed the memo, okay? You need to express how you feel every day. Tomorrow is not promised to no one, but you know, it, it is It is what it is. So I'm going to break it down to you guys and I'm going to give you some little facts and some figures to take with you. And you, with that, you know, you can make your own decisions on how to proceed when it comes to this day of 214. All right. So in the U.S., we have about 110 million people who are single. Okay. Um, that's about 45% of the U.S. population is what? Single. Okay. So not everybody's booed up. All right. So get that out of your head. So if somebody tells you that, that's a damn lie. Everybody's booed up where I just gave you facts and those facts came from the US Census Bureau Can't get no better than that, right? Anyway, I mean that's like a rough estimate because you know I know some people who hide from the census, but still that's a large number of singles so that can Substantiate you replying back to anyone. Not everyone's single. Okay next thing. All right, let's talk about half of the population is identifying as what single okay so same thing applies okay somebody says something to you you go back to them end of story all right this whole thing stemmed from saint valentine's day i mean saint valentine saint valentine was an actual martyr and do you know why he became a martyr he was a priest 
he was a priest and he was a local physician and he was performing marriages and the Romans didn't like that. The Romans were not about that life. They want everybody to be free and you know, you just live your life. You do you, I do me. You know, when I want to get some, you, you know, we get some, we just do what we got to do, but yeah, I don't have no ties to you. Well, St. Valentine, you know, being that he was a Christian, he believed that, you know, people should be married if they wanted to get married and he would actually perform those marriages. So with that being said, the Romans were not thrilled and they murdered him. He was murdered and he became a martyr for the name of what? For love. It's kind of sweet. You know, he kind of kind of died for the cause. You know, he took that, took that for the team, took that as a champ. All right. So that's what happened with St. Valentine. So that's where all this crazy comes into play. It's number one. Number two, okay. Once I start getting into these macabre facts, because they are a bit macabre, okay? So if some of you are kind of weak and squeamish, um, don't watch this episode. I'm not showing visuals, but I know the mind can be a terrible thing and the mind can like mess with your head and all kinds of stuff and you be feeling some type of way. So I'm telling you, don't, um, but th these are facts. You can look them up, okay? So this is what actually transpired, all right? So let's get it. You also had a holiday where St. Valentine's Day was the designated day of matchmaking. Are those Romans, man, oh my God, those, those Romans would come with all kinds of wild stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like they just were scandalous with what they thought of, okay? So it was a matchmaking lottery. What they would do is they would submit the names of all of the eligible single women within whatever region you were in and they'd put your name in a big urn in goat's blood. Juicy, huh? Mm-hmm. Told you it gets a little squeamish and freaky. Not for the faint of heart here, okay? So they would put the names in goat's blood. The local bachelors would pick up the names, and hence you had marriages in the spring. There you go. So it was matchmaking. It wasn't even love. It wasn't even, you know, oh my God, I love him so much. Please, based on what the groundhog's saying from... Early February, if we have six more weeks of winter, you're looking at like what, March, April? So you had about, you were less than, you had like less than that 90 day fiance stuff, you know, to get to know a person. And back then people weren't too clean either. They weren't too clean. Hygiene wasn't exactly a forte, hence why you got the bubonic plague and all of that other stuff. Maybe I'll do another video about that. Tell me if you want me to do stuff like that. If you like these historical facts that I'm giving, drop it in the comments and, you know, we'll we'll see how that plays out, okay? So, um, yeah, so you, they were entered in like a matchmaking lottery and everybody was like in this huge urn, not everybody, but people's names, the females. You get where I'm coming from with that, okay? So imagine that's how you found your boo and you were stuck with this person for the rest of your life okay next um i have notes because i fact checks everything we we just we don't go into things raw dog like that all right everything i you know no i mean i know stuff but you know i need to make sure i got my cuomo facts next thing on the list you had lupercalia lupercalia was a feast where a goat and a dog see this bothers me because i'm all about the animals okay this one telling you people if you're not of the sh if you can't you can't handle don't watch this episode okay lupercalia was a feast where a goat and a dog would be sacrificed and the skins would be taken off of the sacrifice and they would beat the local townswomen single went well no they weren't even single whether you were you know married or whatever I think it was married and single, okay? Because then I'm going to tell you why. Lupercalia was the feast of fertility and beauty. So the women actually wanted to be beaten with goat skin and dog skin. What the hell is that? And they felt that by being beat with the goat skin and the dog skin that they would have beauty and fertility. Sick. Then um, let's talk about the infant's chocolate heart. Hence the expression, eat your heart out. You really want to know where that comes from? After I tell you this, you might not want your chocolate heart, okay? The chocolate heart comes from, actually, the chocolate heart, over 36 million chocolate hearts are sold in the U.S. per year. Peak season is Valentine's Day, 
And the tradition started in the 1800s by Catsbury in the UK. Um, the reason why he decided to make it cute was it has a very macabre story. So the Romans, once again, those damn Romans, the Romans, you know, um, after Christ AD, they would do Christianity flushes throughout the areas that they were patrolling and they would walk up to people and they would ask them, do you believe in Jesus Christ? If you said yes or no, you were either beheaded or your heart was literally ripped out of your chest. Hence, eat your heart out. Hence, the chocolate heart. In the 1800s, Cadsbury, who was trying to get his um, feet off the ground with his dairy milk and all the other delicious chocolates that he makes, by the way, he was trying to get his business off the ground. He decided that he would take this grotesque, macabre story and he would make it a positive. So he created this beautiful red chocolate heart. The heart was red. Why? Because hence the heart pumps what? Blood eat your heart out so think about that the next time you know you get a little upset because boo didn't pick up some chocolates for you on valentine's day but i say save your money and wait until the 15th because that's when everything's 50 percent off and you're getting a deal on it especially if you're single like what the hell are you gonna pay full price for i mean i get it you want to feel special whatever whatever but you know if you you really want to save a couple of dollars we're in the middle of a pandemic you know 24 hours isn't gonna kill you and right now, who's buying that anyway? I mean, I know several people who are probably just gonna have some Chinese food or they're gonna get some Hello Fresh and they're calling it a night. But you do you, we don't judge here. Um, Yeah, these traditions stem in gore, okay? That's what's happening with that. Um, you know, we, we got a lot of gore going on here. And then last but not least, the Valentine, the infamous Valentine's Day card. Now this right here actually touches my heart in a twisted way. The Valentine's Day card was written in France in 1415 by the Duke of Orleans, who was awaiting his execution on when? Valentine's Day. And he wanted to do one last grand gesture to prove to his wife how much he loved her before he died. So as he was waiting for his head to be severed via guillotine, he decided that he would send his wife, what? A Valentine, proclaiming his love before his death man after my own heart with that I'm gonna say you know what if the person that you are seeing can't even take $2.99 to buy you a card or a piece of paper and write down how they feel about you there is a problem I mean hell on sex in the city homeboy wrote it on a post-it well but what he wrote carry on a post-it was okay scratch that don't 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 worry about the post it you gotta do better than that okay so there you have it most of these holidays stem from macabre roots so don't feel bad about valentine's day it's just another day yeah it's nice to feel special but you know what you should be treating the person that you love special every day not just one day all right so i'm sophia legro you can follow me on instagram at sl confidential you can follow me on facebook under the girl who talks about nothing but we're gonna be doing some you know we, we got some things going on in the back we got some things going on in the back okay so check it out you love these historical facts feel free to follow like and share i will make more videos the more people who follow the more motivation i have to shoot for you guys all right, so with that being said, I don't want anybody upset over no damn Valentine's Day. If you want to inbox me, please feel free to do so. Um, and you know what? We'll, we'll get through this. It's cool. Love yourself that day. Get your own chocolates. If who wants to take you out? Let him. He wants to cook you some HelloFresh. That's fine, too. You want to get some Chinese? It is what it is. But remember, love yourself every day love your partner every day let who you love know that you love them every day because we're not promised tomorrow